Hello and welcome to this online Ashless Wednesday worship service here at Zion Lutheran Church in San Antonio, Texas. We are glad that you could join us for this time together. Let us begin with prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you, the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This is a reading from Job chapter 2. One day the heavenly beings came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, from going to and fro on the earth and from walking up and down on it. The Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. He still persists in his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him for no reason. Then Satan answered the Lord, skin for skin, all that people have they will give to save their lives. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well, he is in your power, only spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and inflicted loathsome sores on Job from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. Job took a potsherd with which to scrape himself and sat among the ashes. His wife said to him, do you still persist in your integrity? Curse God and die. But Job said to her, you speak as any foolish woman would speak. Shall we receive the good at the hand of God and not receive the bad? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Now when Job's three friends heard of all these troubles that had come upon him, each of them set out from his home. Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuite, and Zophar the Namathite. They met together to go and console and comfort him. When they saw him from a distance, they didn't recognize him, and they raised their voices and wept aloud. They tore their robes and threw dust in the air upon their heads. They sat with him on the ground seven days and seven nights, and no one spoke a word to him, for they saw that his suffering was very great. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a reading from 2 Corinthians. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and see we are alive, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing everything. The word of the Lord. Rob is now going to play some music, and during this time, I invite you to reflect upon the readings that you've just heard. 
especially as we enter into this season of Lent. Lent is traditionally a time of self-examination and remorse for sin, and so you can also spend this time reflecting on sin in your life and in the world around you, and also how God's mercy reaches you. As disciples of Jesus, we are called to a discipline that contends against evil and resists whatever leads us away from love of God and love of neighbor. I invite you, therefore, to the discipline of Lent, self-examination and repentance, prayer and fasting, sacrificial giving, and acts of love. Let us continue our journey throughout these 40 days of Lent to the great three days of Jesus' death and resurrection. Let us now confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another and before the whole company of heaven that we have sinned by our fault, by our own fault, by our own most grievous fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, O God. We have shut our ears to your call to serve as Christ served us, we have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O God. Our past unfaithfulness, the pride, 
envy, hypocrisy, and apathy that have infected our lives, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our self-indulgent appetites and ways and our exploitation of other people, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our negligence in prayer and worship and our failure to share the faith that is in us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our neglect of human need and suffering and our indifference to injustice and cruelty, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our false judgments, our uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us, we confess to you. Have mercy on us, O God. Restore us, O God, and let your anger depart from us. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. God has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to those in captivity. God has sent me to proclaim the Lord's favor and to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. During the music now, I invite you to take oil from your home, olive oil or similar, and anoint yourself and any others who may be in your home on the forehead using these words. Remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember you are a child of God, and you are marked as Christ's own forever.
Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all who are in need. O oh God, you call your church to be ministers of reconciliation throughout the world. Inspire your church in its proclamation of the gospel and guide its ministries to build up the body of Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh God, you desire peace. Direct governments and leaders to work for the well-being of all people and raise up advocates to speak and serve on behalf of the downtrodden. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh God, you are our hope in the midst of despair, our help in the midst of sorrow, and our consolation in the midst of affliction. Grant comfort to all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, especially those we name now in our hearts. Give support to caregivers who attend to all in need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh God, you are our life and our salvation. We give you thanks for the righteous who have died in faith. Inspire us by their example to proclaim your steadfast love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We entrust ourselves and all of our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Go forth to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit.